Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be changing this rotor on this 2003 Chevy Suburban 1500 two wheel drive. We're going to do it without pulling off the brake pads. I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, so the reason why we're only doing the rotor is because the other side, my niece, excuse me, my niece brought this truck to me. She was thinking the, uh, the brakes were bad. And if you watched the last video, if not, check it out. It'll be a link to it at the end of this uh, video. Um, wasn't the brake pads at all. Uh, the wheel bearing was bad, making all kinds of noise. The brake pads on that side over there were still at about 90%, maybe a little more. And these ones are the same. But she went ahead and picked up two new rotors. Um, this one, there is a little bit of grooving in the back. It's not super bad, but it has been worn down at, at least once. So there could be hot spots on it. But she's got the rotors i'm going to go ahead and throw a rotor on here i've already checked these pads i can see down in there and they're the same as the other ones they're not cracked and they're still about 90 percent so what we're going to do is we're going to take this rotor off and we're going to do it without pulling the pads off okay so what we're going to do let me grab my screwdriver oh, shoot. i'll have to go get my screwdriver hang on okay so Got my screwdriver, and this one has two of these little, little weird looking washers, and I'll zoom in a little bit for you here. Let's see, there's one here and one here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this. Now sometimes, like especially up north, uh, salt and stuff you know things rust out these things will break taking them off they're not a necessity we'll put them back on just because they're in good shape but if if these break on you this is what they look like if these break on you don't worry about it because this this rotor cannot fall off of here you know the wheel is going to be holding the rotor on so but since since they're in good shape, we'll just throw them back on. Because when you put them back on, you just they'll just slide right on. So, um, like I say, not real important. This doesn't look like it's been on here that long. This wheel bearing may have been changed. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this around here. So I can get back here to this. Now this... There's probably enough room there. I know there's enough to get the uh, to get the the rotor out. So I'm just going to push these pistons in just a little bit. They don't have to go all the way in because you're not taking the brake pads all the way out. So instead of, I'll show you here in just a second. And that should be good enough there. So instead of taking the two bolts out back here for the caliper, get you down here. Okay, so instead of taking this bolt here out and this bolt here out, there's one right up here. This bolt right in. Let me. There's a bolt right here. Uh, Okay, there's a bolt right here. And there's one right there. Let me see where you at. No, right there. Can't see my screen. Let me turn my screen around. Right there, that bolt right there. The other ones hold in the, uh, those ones, those three, they hold in the, uh, the wheel bearing assembly. So you're not going to have to take that one out. You just take that one out and the top one out and this whole piece will slide out and this 
this rotor will come right off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do this without getting in your way. I'm just going to yank them bolts out of there. Uh, I think I brought the sockets I need, but I don't know where I put them. Nope. Let me grab a socket. Okay, so I got my socket. Let's get my gun out here. And we're just going to pull the top and bottom bolt out of here. I'm moving you I'm sorry okay take that out that out we're just gonna lift this up right up off of there set it up here out of the way don't ever let it hang on your rubber hose and pull that off now I'm gonna get the other one out I'm gonna get it cleaned up we're gonna throw it back on okay so now we're just gonna pop this back on here just like that we're gonna take our little there's a little weird washers that we got we're gonna just stick them on there it just kind of holds that in place for you I think I mentioned it in the last video but some of these are sprayed with a coating a protective coating so they don't rust these ones are not just make sure they're real clean when you put them back together now we're just going to take our our assembly here and we're just going to stick it back on just like that and put our bolts in we're good to go now if i can find my bolts in there <clears throat> got these these caterpillars are bad now they can be a little tricky to start them but if you put that bolt in there and you move this around you'll feel it start in just like that that one started now the bottom one I cannot see but I can feel it There we go. And did it start? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now let's go ahead and tighten these up. Let me get you at a different angle. Okay. I got you at a different angle. Let's make sure these are are started. Then you can put your uh, put your gun on there, or your ratchet, whatever you got. And that's all it takes. There it is. Now, now let's put the wheel on. Okay, now these, you just put, take your socket and you put them on and turn them, you'll feel it click. Once that clicks the second time, it's locked in. There's one and there's two. That's all it takes. 
One, two. All right, got that one. All right, they're good. Just make sure they're all locked in. And that's all them take. Don't don't raunch on there with a, you know, just, they just screw on top of the, uh, the lug nuts. And there you go. Now, we're going to set the brakes up. I think I've showed you guys this before, but I'll show you again how to set the brakes up. Okay, guys, in order to set these brakes up, all you do is pump them. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Make sure your cap's on, which I already did. See how far down it goes? Just pump it until you get a good pedal. And there it is. These go down a little bit because it needs back brakes, but that's it. All right. That's all it takes. You're good to go. Don't forget to do that because if you do, you won't have any bricks for the first one or two times you push them. All right, guys. So there you go. I like to call these quick fixes. Now, a lot of times your your rotor could get warped, and your brakes brake pads would be fine. If you get a pulsating in your pedal, like when you're stopping and you're stopping real slow and it kind of goes like this, or let's say you're doing 70 mile an hour down the highway and you got to get on the brakes kind of hard and you feel it doing, you know, it's like vibrating on your foot. It could be a tire, but if it's not, chances are one of your rotors are warped. A lot of times that'll happen if you're coming down a steep hill and you're riding the brakes or you're pulling a trailer and you're riding the brakes. You go through a mud puddle, that will warp them because they get hot. And that'll cause a warpage. So, if for some reason you just need to change the rotor, let's say you had to put pads on, you couldn't afford the rotors two weeks later, now you can put the rotors on. That's how you do it without taking the caliper off, then the mount off. You don't have to do that. Just take them two bolts out of the mount, you saw, bam, bam. A quick fix. So there you guys go. Stay tuned tomorrow. We're going to do an oil change. We're going to try to find a leak, an antifreeze leak, and we're going to do the back brakes. I know I do a lot of front brakes on this channel, but we're going to do the back brakes. They are uh, rotors as well, or they should be. So um, I think the rotors are fine in the back. I have drove this truck. I didn't feel any pulsation in the pedal, but I did notice uh, today when I got in it and moved it over here because it was out here in the yard So I moved it over here on the concrete and uh, The pedal does seem like well you saw it's about halfway down You know, maybe 40% down probably somewhere right in there 35 to 40 percent down uh, With anti-lock brakes, you're not going to get them right there. They go down a little bit You're talking 10 to 20 percent is what you're looking for, you know, just a little bit so the back brakes is what gives you your pedal. So if you're starting to lose a pedal, you don't have a leak and you know your master cylinder's good, but you can't get a pedal, adjust your back brakes. If that takes care of it, then chances are you're probably gonna need some brake shoes, back brake shoes, or pads. But we'll get in more about that tomorrow. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. More to come on this old truck. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.